Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. But I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video, I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon, so you open that up and it'll take just a minute, especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab and just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For Engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check Advanced Graphics Mode Beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it to four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM. So around 3000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see it in just a sec. So now, once it has restarted, we'll go ahead and maximize this window real quick and head over to System Apps and go to Google Play. And it's just like Google Play on your regular Android device. And we'll go ahead and do a quick search for Dragon Ball Legends here. Type it up real quick. And then right there, the first choice, Dragon Ball Legends. All you have to do is hit the green install button. Depending on your internet speed, it may take a minute or two. It's a 46 MB file. I've got fast internet, so it doesn't take long at all. Now I could go ahead after it installs and hit open here, but I'm going to go ahead and just close this tab and show it's on the home screen now. So you can open it from there. Dragon Ball Legends, DB Legends is what it's named on here. And I'll just show you it starting up real quick, but uh, I'm not going to do the configuration here. I'll go ahead and skip along so I can show some gameplay. All right, so we are back. Now I'm ready for some gameplay. I've been playing this game for a while already, so as you can see in the top left, I'm a level 55 player right now. But uh, I'll just uh, be quiet for a little while and come back towards the end of the video and let you guys just enjoy watching the gameplay. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Let's do this! <laughs> Did you think you could defeat me? So there you have it. As you can see, Dragon Ball Legends runs really, really good with the BlueStacks emulator. And if you want, you can even set up a controller with this emulator to use on this game. That may be another video for another time. But that's going to be it for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and good luck setting this up on your own system. Bye-bye now.